Good morning, St. Columbus, and happy Easter. How I wish we could be together and I could greet all of you in person. Um, for now, I welcome you across the river to Alexandria, Virginia, where today I thought we would reflect together on our appointed reading from the Hebrew Scriptures. It is actually quite long, so I will not read it aloud here, but feel free to pause this and pull out a Bible or pull up Google and find Exodus chapter 15. We will be reading or referencing verses 1 through 21. That's Exodus 15, 1 through 21. Now this passage is otherwise known as the Song of Moses, and it is a shout of celebration and praise to God for delivering the Israelites out of Egypt, delivering the Israelites from the oppression of Pharaoh. And the song begins with Moses saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The Lord is my strength and my might, and he has become my salvation. Now, even singing the song of celebration of freedom and God's steadfastness, um, the Israelites knew that they had a long road ahead of them to the land that God promised. Forty years of wandering, walking, trying and failing, and sometimes succeeding, to understand this God that saved them. My Old Testament professor at VTS calls this narrative or portion of the Bible, the murmuring tradition. The murmuring of the people amongst themselves as they wander through the desert. How are we going to eat? Where does the water come from? I'm thirsty. At least in Egypt, we had food. Well, my friends, we are all in the desert right now. We are wandering and we are murmuring about how exactly we are going to make it through. How is God showing up for me and my family today? How is God showing up in the world that is so uncertain and painful? What will it be like when we make it to the other side? Now, these murmured questions are valid and understandable and real. They're not a sign of mistrust, but actually a sign of great reliance on God. We are in the wake of the resurrection of Christ and how many songs we have sung in praise of God for this triumph over death. And yet, we find ourselves on this side of Easter, perhaps with new and different questions. Perhaps the desperation we try so hard not to have is how the Israelites felt in their murmuring. Try as we might, there will always be a fear that we may never have enough, whether it be bread and Lysol or enough strength or patience or faith. We would like to know how exactly God plans to provide. But the stories of the Exodus and the water flowing from the rock and the loaves and fishes and the resurrection of our Lord, all of those stories give us an assurance in God's abundance. And I join you and the people of Israel in this uncomfortable murmuring. And so this is my prayer for us today. Remember not to waste the gifts God has given you, trying to wrestle them into their normal places. Let us sing praises to God during this walk in the desert knowing that our strength from God will come in all sorts of surprising ways. Alleluia, friends. Christ is risen.